Hi, today we'll be working on a program in C. I'll show you guys how to. Uh, so it'll be, a, it'll be a continuation of the pointers uh, series in the C video tutorials. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a file pointer. Uh, I've already written it out at the bottom. This is just a, the first part of it. Uh, so we're going to create a file pointer. We're going to call it star out. Then we're going to say out points to f open. So I'll show you guys how to create a path to your desktop. Because the built-in files aren't working, I've tried to create some .txt, .dat files. I don't know if it's glitched, but it's not working. So we'll just do it the normal pathway. So the pass in C use two slashes. I don't know if that is that is that did they use two before? Uh, maybe right. So in other languages, was it just one or two? I can't remember. It just depends. So in this in C, they use two, and it's a backslash. Is it a back? Yeah. So it's I don't know if that's the, I think that's that's a. It's a, it's not the slash on the question mark. You have to go up underneath the backspace. It's above the enter symbol. So it's two of those, and then we'll use the fprintf function to to uh, write to the file pointer out the location of out or the address, and we'll, we're just going to write some stuff, and then we're we're going to change. We're going to remember the mode. So there's three modes. R mode is read. W mode is write, A mode is append. So if you just read a file, it ha I think it has to be existent. If you write a file, it doesn't have to be existent. You can create a new file, I believe, if you don't have a file already. If you have a file already, it's going to overwrite what's inside. If you use the A, which stands for append, it should just concatenate uh, what you have in the file already. So you can you can loop this through if you really needed to and create some like I had to do that for uh, for the uh, Android uh, they have this thing in Android it's called uh, let me just pull it up so if you click my if you have an Android you click my files they have something called internal storage and writing to internal storage is actually really hard you have to do it like this so you have to basically use these modes with files and you have to create your spaces to concatenate everything and make sure everything's placed out like that so it's really hard actually so it's like it's like pretty much just input output file stuff that's how you write text files and whatever data you're trying to store in there so I had to like store game data that was being saved and I had to like space it out and formatted it with like pretty much exactly like this with loops with if and else and like how to add to add like spaces in here imaginary spaces to space out everything I had to add new lines tabs pretty much you need to use new lines because there's no new lines in there so you have to you have to basically append the new lines and you have to trial and error it until it looks good so it takes a long time so that's it was one of the more challenging things it wasn't it wasn't impossible but it was it was kind of annoying there's no built-in way to do it so this stuff is important. It may not seem that important, so we'll just uh, we'll just start with this. So we'll so I'll, here I'll create it. We'll start from scratch here. So we'll just say file. Then we'll create a file pointer named out. We can call it whatever you want, but since it's output, we'll just call it out. Then here we'll say out points to f open. Then here we'll, we'll write a string for the path. So I'll just write my path for a Windows PC. And we're going to say the first the first time around we'll say we're going to write to it. We're going to write to the file with the mode W. It's pretty much like Java, right? It's pretty much exactly like Java, minus the pointer stuff, obviously. But like the path name is like pretty much the same. 
same style of path and then we're, we're going to call the file version of printf so it's going to write to a file rather than to the standard input output on your IDE or like in your term uh, in your shell I guess if you're doing it from command prompt it's going to be in your shell or PowerShell or whatever you're using your Unix shell for Linux I think Uni Mac has a Unix shell too uh, so we'll be getting into that after we'll be working with some commands at least a few videos just to get into it so here we have uh, we have we'll call f printf here. So f printf, and then we'll we'll call uh, we'll pass in out because we're going to pass in our pointer, right? So our out pointer. Why are we passing in uh, out? Or we're passing in out because we want to access the file pointer out. So where's our file pointer out here is a pointer value, right? It's a pointer. Then we're saying, okay, we want our location or our address. We want the address of our uh, pointer out. We want we want to call the address part and point it to without the address symbol. So I think if you don't use the address symbol or you do, it's the same thing. So we're going to say, okay, well, we want the address to point to the address of this location, right? This location is storing our text file. Then we're going to say, okay, well, we want to call fprintf, which is, it just writes to a file. So it's going to have this the file stream to write to the file. So here we're going to write whatever we want. So we could just say, like, it's a password. Someone's password being stored, right? Then we'll just say semicolon here. Then we have to remember to close this, the file output stream. So we'll say F close. And that's it. So if we save it and run it, you should see the string password in your file on your desktop. So I won't be able to exit this or else the camera's going to stop. So I'll just run it. So now we, we have, uh, you should see that file on your desktop. If you look, you should see a new file. I believe it's going to create one automatically. If you don't, you can create an, you can create a file named output.txt on your file, place it on your desktop. You can change it to documents if you want or whatever, wherever, and then, then try it again. If it didn't work, it should work for sure. So now let's, let's change the mode to append. So this time we're going to concatenate whatever's in the file. Uh, so we could we could just change this to username maybe put a space here save it and run it then we should have the file the output file should have the password now we have the space with the username So what we also could do, if hopefully you guys see that, what we could do is we could uh, just put a space here. Hopefully the spaces do work. If not, you can use a slash T for a tab. What am I typing? You can use a slash T for a tab if you want to, if it didn't really work. It should work with a space. So then we can copy this, printf, uh, sorry, f printf, so file printf. Then we'll paste it here, and then we could put like username. Then we should have all that appended. It probably will look all messed up since we've run it, ran it a few times. Since we ran it a few times, so that's how to do it. So what we could do is we could uh, so we could read this all into the input but I have some other example codes here one didn't work completely well it didn't show us completely 
it rid it in binary I believe so it's written in binary or something so it looks like what happened is my notepad is just showing like a random symbol like some kind of like other language symbol or some kind of weird symbols I think because the types weren't converted properly so how many examples do I have here okay I have a few so let's uh let's work with this if you want to read so we let's uh let's just see if we can try to get anything from that file actually let's just okay let's let's see here so we have file pointer in actually no sorry so we have a, okay yeah, we're gonna need another file pointer here so we're gonna need a file uh, we have a pointer out we're gonna need a point a file pointer in to read data in excuse me so we have a file point uh, we have file here we're gonna call file we'll say asterisk in for a file pointer in we're gonna need a character character C I will delete this so we'll say we say we'll say we want in to point to F open what do we call it again we call it output.txt uh, okay so actually no that's not gonna work we need a path here so we're gonna need C whatever my path is or whatever yours is you can enter it so I've C some uh, ship semicolon is that a forward slash or a back slash? I think it's a forward slash forward slash forward slash and then capital U S E R S users forward slash forward slash the name of the PC forward slash forward slash desktop all capitals I mean sorry for the first letter in each of the in so for users we're going to need a capital U for the name you're going to need a capital unless you somehow have lowercase for desktop it requires a capital uh, then the name I did not name it with a capital so I'll just have it like that output dot txt So then we're going to need uh, we're gonna need a mode here, I think. So let's just try read mode. That can work. So we had before. That's fine. So we'll just have endpoints to F open. I mean like when we did this, we needed a mode. I think we did do need a mode. So let's just try that. We don't really need out at this time. We might have to play with it a little bit just to see to see if we what we can get here. So then we'll say we'll just close the file stream again. So we'll close in. And let's just see if we can read that through. I think we might need a loop. Yeah, we're going to need some kind of loop here. So uh while points to uh, what kind of options do we have uh, sir I'm just looking at a library the file library on my other screen so we have uh, f open f printf so we used f open f printf f close we use f scan if we're not using F get C are we using get C 
Uh, I think we're gonna need F Getsy. And I believe that's why. There's my professor has. Uh, my old professor has mistakes in the notes again. I think sometimes they just forget certain languages and they like try to remember. I think they used get C in, I'm just going to refresh this page, sorry. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at, uh, honestly, I'm looking at, if you really want to know, I'm looking at javapoint.com slash file uh, slash file handling in C, so you can Google that if you're interested in getting the library for file handling. So we have F open, opens a new existing file. So these are, most of them are pretty obvious. So I think we're gonna need F get C, read a character from a file. Cause anything with F is gonna be file. It's gonna stand for file. So it's going to, uh, it's gonna automatically be able to access the file stream. So if we say so we could use that here. So we could say while C points to F get C. <laughs> and it needs a file pointer. Okay, so F get C. What do we say in? In. Does not equal EOF and a file. Then we'll say let's just print it out. So we'll say we'll just print it out to our terminal. What's wrong with that? Print F. Well, I don't know, I don't know why it was an error the first time. So we'll just say. Uh, Wait a minute here. If I just throw in character C, that's not gonna work. Will it work? Okay, we might have to change this to it. Oh, hopefully we won't have to change it to an array. So we'll just say uh, percent C, I guess, comma C. Is that gonna work? Hopefully it does work. So let's just try it out. And we didn't get anything. Okay, so well, C points F get C in design equal EOF printf. I feel like we could maybe change this to a pointer. No, we could change this to a string and see if that'll work. Something happened there, okay. Uh, no, I'm declaring them in like Java. So I'll try that. Oh, still something. Array size in C is missing, so let's just... Do you really need an array size? God, that's annoying. Assignment to expression with array type while C uh, We're gonna need to maybe Okay, so That isn't working, so we'll just leave it like that We're gonna need to care C uh, So while C points F gets uh, Well C points F gets C in does not equal EOF. My missing brackets here, hopefully not, because my professor also has the brackets wrong too. Has two brackets at the beginning, like this. I'm kind of mixing with these codes, so this isn't one of the codes that they wrote. This is just kind to uh, read the file in. So they have it like this, two brackets like that at the beginning get C in, then they have two brackets here at the end. 
that seems like it's wrong. Oh, wait, unless that's right. Is that right? No. Don't tell me that's right. Well, it worked, but we didn't get anything. Is it really supposed to be like that? Why would they close it twice? Doesn't make sense. Okay, so, uh, there's either a problem with the brackets or something with the code, so let's try to see what's happening here. So we have in points to F open. Actually, let me try to take an example from the internet just to see how the brackets are being placed. And they're not using file pointers in these examples, great. Okay, so let's see. Any examples on this one? Nope, actually yes they do. No, they're not even using a loop here. Uh, maybe we can just use a if. Just to, no, that's not gonna work. They just have a while true. So we're saying uh, while C points to F get C. We're saying while the character C points F get C. In file in does not equal to EOF. Then just print out C. Uh, so we have we're looking to get this one, okay? Print f percent. See what happens if I change that to percent s. Just gonna throw an error. Oh yeah, this uh, external console thing glitch as well. So there's a glitch in in, uh, in uh, C line as I mentioned before. So you actually have to put a breakpoint here. Debug it to get the options up. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to click the settings tab if you're using C line. If you got C line for free by using your school email or someone's school email. It has to be post-secondary, so like a college or a university, community college, college, university, whatever, something like that. You have to go on their website, type it in, that's how you get it for free. So what I'm going to do is, what you have to do is you have to click the settings icon, modify run configurations, run an external console, hit apply and OK. And then uh, the output's going to go to another window because for some reason the output's not going to the screen in, in most in most cases. So we'll have to step over. And I'm getting input, so this is working. It looks like. Thank God. So it is working. All right. So we're getting input. So we're getting input from the text file. It's reading it in. And you're gonna have to keep. We're gonna have to keep. Uh, actually, what we could do is we could just put a breakpoint here on F close in. P I bet people watching the video is like, what, "This guy doesn't know what he's talking about." Like, like, bro, just just give me a chance here. <laughs> There's a glitch with the with the IDE. So we're, what you have to do is put a breakpoint here, and then create a click the debug. Okay, so save it now, and then click the debug icon. So now you can see if you look on, you won't be able to see mine, but if you see your external window, 
we have password space, username space, username. I guess after we played with it, that's what we had. So we so the spaces did work with the space itself. So we did get our file. We are reading it in. So that works. Uh, it works with a percent C. So that's working. If we change it to a percent S, it's probably not going to work. It's working now, so we don't really need to test. So what do we do again? Let's just recap. So we created a file pointer. So file pointer of type file. Capital all capitals for file. So asterisk in. So that stands for a file pointer to in. This one we don't need. So then we declared a character C to be a temporary storage for our data. So we call it C because it's a character. So what we're saying is, okay, well, we want to uh, create a character C variable that's just declared and not pointing to anything right now. Then we said, okay, well, then we want, we want in. We want our file pointers at, like, we want the pointer address pretty much to point to F open. What does fopen do? So f opens a file stream to open a file in C. So we took a path. We used the path to open the file that we wanted. Then we call the mode R mode to read. Then we used a while loop. So we said while C points to f get C. So f get C is a function that's going to get data from the file. I think it gets each character. Uh, maybe I should just get a definition for you guys for that. So f get c, what does it do? So f get c reads a character from a file. There should be a better definition for that. And so there's more. Uh, apologize for that. So there's more. Uh, file modes there's like bind so there's like R W A R plus W plus A plus R B W B A B R B plus W B plus A B plus so that's all in the link I told you guys to go to javapoint.com slash file handling in C if you need to look at the library so we'll, we'll be doing some binary examples after so uh, that's what it does Actually, that's not a, the best definition, so it's, uh, I'll just look for a better definition. So F get C, uh, in C, there should just be a page for that one function. Okay, it is. So there is, so we have, uh, the C library function int F get C file pointer stream. That's how it's defined. So it gets the next character an unsigned character from the specified stream and advances the position indicator for the stream. So it gets the next character from the specified stream. So our streams are read. Uh, it's an input stream. And it, va it advances the position indicator for the stream. So I think every time it gets one, it goes to the next one. So we're saying, okay, well, while, while C points to F get C, we're going to get the, the next character in the file, in the file in, with the, sorry, the file pointer in, which is pointing to in. So we want to access the address pointer of in, that file does not equal EOF. They're going to keep looping that to get the next character C until the file is done. Pretty much, that's what's happening. So the best way to learn what's happening is to just test how much you can get or what you can get with an if versus a, versus a loop. So that's this is a loop to get all the data in the file. We, we probably could have stopped it like halfway if we reached like a certain string that we wanted to encounter or something like that. So then now at the end we're just closing this the file stream so that's it. So this is a half an hour video, so I think I will take a little break and I'll, and I'll come back. And we will then work on uh, 
We will then do their example of converting a text file to all uppercase. Well, it's it's my it's my school's example, so we have that. And then we have another uh, another example that might that we might do. I think that one has structs in it, or is that not a finished one? So let's. Uh, see what else we're going to do. So we're going to copy file copy a string with a array so instead of using characters and I think that honestly that's it. And then we got struct so I think we'll probably do all that today so we have command lines we've already gone over it. It's not really something you need for uh, software development more so like administration linux yeah you might need it for linux you might need it for like mac administration or like windows administration uh we've already done an example we may be looking at more examples perhaps We'll leave that for the end. I think what the most important thing is we're going to need structures because structures we use in C++ and C Sharp, I believe. At least C++. Maybe C Sharp too. So I'm, I'm still learning those. Uh, so we're going, to, we're going to look at structures, type def and union. Maybe a, a malloc, calloc, and free example. The one I have in my notes isn't that good. I might have to go to the C programming book that I have. So that's pretty much going to be it for this series. So if you guys want to see the rest of the series, you can subscribe to the channel uh, and like the video. Uh, we'll be learning some more programming languages in the future. Actually, a bunch more. Well, what's left? So we have Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, HTML, CSS. I still have to upload your, uh, your guys' Android videos with XML, which I already have done. I just haven't made the videos for it. And then we will have PHP. I think that's like the last thing is PHP. And that's like the end of my degree. So pretty much uh, that'll be coming later. Uh, so it's pretty much going to be, oh, we still have the Linux videos to do. So yeah, so the series is going to come up. The videos are going to be coming up pretty fast now because I've decided to just start uploading them every day. So anyways, if you guys want to see the next example, we'll be working with pointers, uh, some more file pointers, maybe some command, more command lines, perhaps. Math will probably skip. Math functions, because those are boring. Those are boring. So then we will probably do structures, and then type def and union, and that'll be it. Maybe some memory management stuff. And then we have actually some examples. So I have a tic-tac-toe game, which I already did. I have to upload that. And then we're going to have a binary uh, command. We're going to have a binary options menu to play with some files. It's in one of my old assignments. Uh, it's kind of like a command prompt window with options playing with binary. And then, oh yeah, so then finally we have uh, machine code, so we'll have some, we'll have a C program with machine code example. Yeah, so there might be some more examples coming up with machine code, which isn't that fun to be honest, but yeah, so if you guys are need that too, in your, whatever it's in your curriculum, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time, take care.